That's why we celebrate Christmas. It's the birth of Jesus Christ. So Christmas is Jesus' birthday? <laughs> That's right, baby girl, you got it. Where did Jesus live? What? He didn't really have a place to live, did he? It's time to go to sleep now, baby. I love you, let's say our prayers, okay? Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for all your blessings. You, Lord, are our provider. We ask that you continue providing for us and keep us safe. Oh God, we thank you that we have each other. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Come on, quit playing. Come on now. You're gonna be late for school. Jack is gonna have breakfast for you when you get out there and always remember to thank him. Mom, I said I need a tablet for school. What? Hey Rose, you got a table. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't worry about it. I can take care of this. Are you sure? I just need a dryer sure. and put her hair up. No problem. Thank you. I gotta go on a tablet. Well then you better make my problem. <sighs> What can I get you? <laughs> That's usually my line. Cute. What can I get you? Somebody put a lump of coal in your stocking. <laughs> the only thing that's been in these stockings the last few years is some sore feet. What can I get you? <laughs> See, that's funny. Okay, give me the Santa Sunrise Special. Anything else? Uh, no thanks. Uh, Velma. I grabbed the wrong name tag, it's Rose. Wow, Rose, nice to meet you. Me too. I'm Santa. Of course you are. Order up, Doc. you pegged for at least eight. Mom says I'm mature for my age. How old are you? I'm as old as Christmas. Did you know Jesus? No, no. no he, he was over in Bethlehem. I was, I was up there. North. Do you visit everybody in the world? Yeah, of course I do. Everybody deserves something for Christmas. I thought you had lists. You know, a good list and a bad list? Sure, I do. 
but there just aren't that many kids that are so bad I wouldn't visit them at Christmas. They have to be pretty darn bad, don't you think? Bro, what is wrong with you? Not everybody believes in Santa Claus. Nor, nor do they need to. Do you really feel like your little thing of balancing the scales, if you're good, you get a gift, if you're naughty, you don't get anything? Is that working out for everybody? <laughs> More coffee, Santa? No, no, I don't think I can. It's more of that Christmas spirit. Look, I just came in here for some breakfast. Spread a little Christmas cheer. Wow, and you're the professional. I don't understand any of this. Okay. Rose is a special person around here. And so is that little girl. She's a single mom. She can't buy groceries, much less Christmas presents. Sugar. Diet. Listen, that little girl didn't choose this road. When Rose came here, she wasn't looking for a job. She wanted to wash dishes or clean anything it took to get Katie a meal. One single meal. Huh. Jack fed them both and gave Rose this job. This has happened. Katie's a good kid. She doesn't have Christmas. A lot of kids don't. You ever worked a farm? Order up, Dot. Coming. You know, growing up, when a fence was down, my dad would fix it. Because if he didn't, the cattle would get out. You see, fences don't keep bad things out. They keep good things in. There ain't no bad kids, Santa. They just aren't many fence members. I was going to mail it. Dear Santa, thank you for talking to me today. Mommy says I shouldn't believe in you, but she's just sad, I think. I wish she would believe in you. Maybe she would be happy. Believing in you makes me happy. I am going to try to be extra good this year. I wrote you a letter last year and mailed it, but you didn't come. Maybe you didn't get it. Or maybe I was on the bad list. That's why 
I wanted to give you this letter myself. Now I know if you come that I was a good girl. But if you don't, I will no lie. Say hello to Mrs. Santa. Do you have any children? Love, Katie Elizabeth Yates. P.S. I drew you a picture of what I want for Christmas. I hope it's not too late. Nancy, I can't do this anymore. Do what? Be Santa. I'm no Santa. Santa Claus. I'm Santa. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I'm Santa. Well, of course you are, Charlie. You have been ever since you joined the Salvation Army 14 years ago. No, Nance. No. I mean, I really am Santa Claus. Uh-huh. All right. Who's Santa? Um, he's the jolly old soul who lives at the North Pole, who's got the really cute uh, wife named Mrs. Claus. Uh, he has tons of elves. They make toys all year long. Uh, he delivers them on Christmas Eve. Aside from that, who's Santa? All right. Santa spreads Christmas cheer. Mm -hmm. He brings joy and laughter to the kids. He triggers the most incredible, incredible childhood Christmas memories in adults. His face stops tears, Nance. <laughs> He's a man put on this earth for a little girl to believe in when she's got nothing else going on. And... He brings presents. Right. Did you get everything you asked for for Christmas? Not until I married you, Charlie. Case closed. I'm Santa. I love you, Charlie. I bet you do, now that you know who I really am. <laughs> Haven't even eaten yet. 
can't. The bus is going to be here any minute. What are you doing with the comb in there? Oh, don't be so dramatic. Okay, come on. Oh. Rose, he's here again, and he asked for you. Who? Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't the Easter Bunny. Can you take over here? Can't, huh? I'm swamped. Katie, we're late. The bus is going to be here any minute. I'm going to have breakfast for you outside. Finish your hair. Do not sit in here and mess around. <clears throat> Santa? Um, I'd like to talk to Katie for just a little bit, if you don't mind. Thank you. You want some coffee? That's right. You're only seven. I like your hair. I did it myself. It's nice. Did you read my letter? Yes, I did. It was wonderful. Thank you. Well, can you tell me what list I'm on? Katie, you've never been on a bad list. Then why haven't you ever brought me anything? Katie, why do you like to believe in me? It makes me happy. Yeah. Did you ever get your mom something? Flowers. Was she happy? Okay. Is your mom happy even when you don't get her flowers? <laughs> of course. Okay. That's joy, Katie. You, you bring your mom joy just because you're you. And Katie, I bring you something every year, too. Joy? That's right. Katie, buzz, baby. Do you understand? Uh-huh. You brought me happy thoughts every year. Right. Would you mind bringing me a toy this year? Mm. For another one. <laughs> three pages. Yeah, two hundred, right? Two hundred. Great. Sure, that's two hundred. Positive. Thank you very much. Thank you. And he's cute.
Rose, why won't you let me tell everyone that you're the artist? Jack. Everyone just wants to know who paints those beautiful pictures. You're sweet. I know it. <laughs> Can you give me that money? You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just it's so different here. You knew it would be. It's a small town, Charlie. It's not Cincinnati. Are you happy here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's real, you know. <laughs> you miss the snow this time of year. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, snow made it way easier to get my sleigh off the ground, that's for sure. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. You guys enjoy. All right. Merry Christmas. I love it when you say that. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> speaking of Christmas. <laughs> I got you covered. Oh. Actually, um, I was uh, wondering how Katie was. Yeah. yeah, she's a tough one. You know, she may be only seven years old, but she ain't seven years old. Smart. Yeah, but wise, you know? And Nance, I, I think she's trying to reach out to me for something. I, I think she needs something. Every time. I've tried to reach her, I failed. Remind you of someone? Fritter. <laughs> oh. Thinking about way back when memories playing over again, friends and family joining in and making me smile like a kid at Christmas, kid at Christmas time. I can see the Christmas tree shining so bright in front of me. Never forget the way it seemed it all was right. For a kid at Christmas, kid at Christmas time.
And so in closing tonight, and in the spirit of the Christmas season, I would remind you of the words spoken by Jesus Christ himself in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25. He said, For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. And so to everyone within the sound of my voice tonight, I would say, reach out to the least of these in this season of giving and love. And I bid you all good night, and to all a very, very, okay, very let's Christmas. let's get ready for bed, okay? Can I pray tonight? Okay. Dear God, thank you for my mom and all of our blessings. Lord, I heard the preacher on the radio say that what we do to the least of these, we do to you. Lord, who are the least of these? Show me so that I can do something for you. God bless my mom and Dot and everybody at the diner. Bless all my teachers, except Miss Hastings. Katie. She gives me too much homework. And she whistles through her nose when she breathes. Well. Bless Miss Hastings. Keep us safe tonight, Lord. And Merry Christmas. Amen. Katie, baby, good morning. It's time to wake up. Katie, baby, wake up. Katie. Katie? 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 Katie! 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 I don't know. She used to do this when she was little, but it's been forever ago. She was like a toddler last time it happened. What? I put her to bed, what? said goodnight, I went to sleep, and then I heard a, a, a glass or something break in the kitchen, and I couldn't find her. And so I went downstairs, and there she was in the middle of the kitchen floor, and I don't know, she got there, and I just, I don't know why it has to be like this. It's gonna be okay. I don't know why it has to be like this. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> that looks like she's gonna be just fine. <sighs> but I do need to get some personal information from you. If you could, step over here at the desk and I'll ask you some of those questions, okay? What I need to go ahead and get is Katie's full name. Uh, 
Katie Elizabeth Yates. And your full name? Catherine Rose Phelps. She has her, um, my first name and her dad's last name. And a home address. Um, we did, um, we just moved, so uh, I can't remember the address. It's, uh... Uh, 2728 Hawthorne Circle, Fayetteville, Tennessee. Christmas card. Thank you. You bet. You're welcome to have a seat, and the doctor will come visit you shortly, okay? I thank you. amazing. The most. Adorable trees. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be Mrs. Claus. She's the decorator here. She loves Christmas about as much as I do. You want to know the truth? Yep. I'm not allowed to touch that tree, not one ornament. <laughs> hey. Seriously, hey. I can't lay a finger on that tree. Oh. Hey, let me know if that's hot enough. Hey, there are a lot of groceries out there in the car. Oh, let me help you. Absolutely not. You have had a day. Besides, Charlie's used to carrying a package. <laughs> I bet he is. There stands an old spruce tree. What causes this family strange behavior? All right, I'm going to hear all about it. just that time. How is Katie? She's okay. She's upstairs sleeping and they say she's gonna be fine. So we're just, whew. That is good news. <laughs> now my next question is, how are you doing? Mm. I'm actually good. I just, I can't thank you and Charlie enough for what you're doing for us. I just need a little time to get back on my feet, and then you stay as long as you need to. All right. What kind of people would we be to not give a mother and a child a place to stay at Christmas time? You know, the truth of it is, we're so incredibly blessed. I mean, Charlie and I both worked all our lives, and you know, earned what we have. But along the way, so many people gave us opportunities, and thankfully, we had the help to pursue those opportunities. And Rose, you're not asking for a handout. You're working really hard to provide for that little girl upstairs. So you, my dear, have nothing to be ashamed of, all right? Plus, you know what? It feels good to have people in the house. Stay as long as you need to, all right? Stay as long as you need to. Thank you. Beautiful family. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh. Does anyone know how to call up Saint Nick? Go to the North Pole concerning something to fix. We need Christmas more than once a year. New Year's is swell, but it's not quite the same. And Cupid means well, but he's got terrible aim. March is boring, April's pouring, May has got my.
Don't you look nice? Are you feeling any better? The doctor says I can go back to school. Or you must be feeling pretty good then. More coffee? Please. Sugar. Give that a good stir. Do you ever have someone you miss but don't really want to see? I miss my dad. You don't want to see him? No. I mean, I'd like to, but... Do you have someone like that? Yeah, I do. Sort of. Your dad? Son. Is he a bad person too? I mean, like my dad? No. No. He's a good man. We don't get along. How long has it been since you've seen him? Wow. Six, maybe seven years. Six or seven years is a long time. People change. A lot. In seven years, I went from a baby who didn't even know not to poop on herself to this. I can walk, talk, go to school, read and write. Maybe you should call him. Maybe he's changed. Maybe you've changed. Katie, that's a lot of time. A lot of time's gone by. There's, there's also a lot of unforgiveness. You were him. I guess you. What makes you say it's me? Well, if you haven't seen him in six or seven years, how would you know he hasn't forgiven you? Look. Katie, you don't understand. Adults have a- says unforgiveness is bad for everybody. She says when you don't forgive someone, it's like holding them prisoner. She also says when there's unforgiveness, nobody's free. You have to guard your prisoner. And so the only way for you to be free is to free him. Yuck. <laughs> Call him. Free yourself. Hey, baby. Would you like more coffee, sir? No, no, thank you. I'm sorry. Why don't you give me hers, too? Oh, that's sweet, Charlie. <laughs> uh, that would have cost me a fortune anywhere else.
There. Rose, can you take care of this customer? Yeah. I'm the cook. Mm -hmm. Hi. Sit down there. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a cup of coffee if you don't mind. Okay. Take this as well. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Ooh. I don't suppose you're the one that paid these. Hey, Christmas, brother. Merry Christmas. He forgot his coffee. Maybe he didn't get out of his coffee. Just turn it on the ring. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Well, thank you, my good man. You free Friday night, Santa? Uh, I am, but you know I'm married, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be staying at a Christmas party. It pays. Well, I'm gonna bring someone. Bring anyone you like. Here's my card. Call me tomorrow, we'll work out the details. Merry Christmas. What can Santa bring you for Christmas? The artist that painted this. You gotta see him. Whew. He works out all the time. He is one fine, solid Mr. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> hey, Santa. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, baby, but it ain't just about that green, pickled, smelling something you're drinking. Mm. It's about what you're missing out on. It's not. Mm. Ice. No, 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 no. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Green. Don't go there. Big old chocolate sundae. Heaven in a bowl, <laughs> a great big bowl. <laughs> I know you love it. All right, I'm freezing. I'm going to go in. Okay, I'll be in there. Okay. Hey, Mr. Saxman. Buckets and wiggle. Oh, you are crazy. Mom, mm -hmm. it's not that I don't believe in Santa. It's just... Mm. 
Mr. Charlie doesn't live in the North Pole. He lives here, in Fayetteville, in this house. Yes, but you know, a lot of people believe in Santa Claus. Like, what about the people that pass him on the street every day? Just because people give him money does not mean they believe he is Santa. Well, what about all the kids that give him their Christmas list every year? Katie, honey, Mr. Charlie has given us a safe place to stay, food on the table. Don't you think he's been Santa to us? You believe in Santa? Yeah, I do. I think he lives right here in this house. All right, snuggle bug. You do not have school, so you're gonna come down to the diner with me. I'll let you wait tables for a little while for me, so I'll, your mama can get a break. I'll show you why you ought to go to college. Okay. You got drowsy all. <laughs> you want to do the prayers tonight, Munchie? Well, I want to hear you pray. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dear Father, dear God, thank you so much for bringing back my precious Katie, safe and sound to me. You once again, you show yourself faithful, even when I am not. And we, I just pray for forgiveness. And for you to keep me safe, keep us safe. Thank you for Nancy and Charlie. I ask that you just heap blessings upon them in this house, everyone that dwells here. Pray for forgiveness, for clarity, just to remain teachable and open. In your precious son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sweet dreams. Mom? Uh huh. Can I have my own Bible for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, but you know who you ought to ask? Santa Claus, and he's just over there in the next room. with me later. Who? Him. My inspiration. Uh, mm, yeah. Mr. Yummy. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. What do you think? Well, we're supposed to go out for dinner. That's good. And I really that's think he's, okay, look, I will tell you later, but hey, I told you it wasn't much of a sacrifice. Woo! Yeah. Hey, y'all, just come in and sit wherever you like. Are oh, you got this? Okay, make sure you get them something to drink. My daughter Katie, she's gonna help us today. Hi. Are you ready for Christmas? Yes, ma'am. Have you told Santa what you want yet? 
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you talk to Santa? Yeah, that's for babies. Why do you talk to Santa? She told me something. She told me I she do told too me. talk to Santa. I talk to him every day. It's not polite to brag. Yeah, not everybody gets to talk to Santa Claus every, every day. Here, finish taking their order, okay, baby? I'll be right back. All right, she's gonna take care of it. So, babe. Wait, what? I'm fine. I'll be fine. Honey, you know those are two different things, right? What happened? Well, we're not going to dinner tonight. Well, I'll close up tomorrow and you can go then. No, we're not going to dinner at all. Oh, babe. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't it. That little twig. Who? He dumped me for that little wave. Pig. <laughs> you just wait. I'm no, going to get her. Now, but let's not get hostile. And we can be mad, but we don't have to. It's better that you found out he's a cheater now, believe me. You are a good woman, and we're gonna find you an awesome man. God's got one in line for you, and you know it. Hello? We've got tables out here. I can't do this all by myself. Hold on, baby, I'll be right there. All right, we gotta go to work. Are you okay? Okay, I'm okay. I'll just go to the gym and cancel my membership. Hi, girl. And then snap that little twig. Okay, you need to take five, okay? I'm gonna go out there and handle this. Excuse me, waitress. I am still waiting on my drink. They're coming. Here they go. Can't you get any better help than that? Do you know how long I've had to wait to even get my order taken? No, when I it's really crazy. don't care. What did you just say to me? When am I going to get my food? Oh, you're going to get your food. Hey. Hey. Who are you? I'm Rose. Let me take care of you. The Lady waitress, I, I heard what she said to me. She's just having a bad day. I want the waitress who was just here. No. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes. No, no, she I don't. She said some really nasty things to me. Well, she's in a nasty kind of place. No, 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 no. I want that waitress. I want her here right now. Okay, little girl. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. You don't want us to help you clean up? It'll do me good to close along. All right, well, we love you. I love you guys, too. I'm glad he's gone. Oh, sweetie. Katie, you were trying to change yourself. I like you because you are dumb. Don't ever change for anyone.
You ladies look very beautiful tonight. Katie, baby, we talked about this. I think you'll have fun, Katie. If you just give it a chance, why don't you ring the doorbell? Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Hi. Christmas to you. You're welcome. Come here. Hey, how many do you have? I hear jingle bells. Have a ball. Sleigh ride. I start to feel all Christmas. How are you doing? Good. And what can Santa bring you for Christmas this year? A pony. A pony? Okay, a pony. Oh, I'm sure you. With wings, like in the cartoon. Um, any particular color? Purple. Okay. You want a candy cane? Is that what you want? Excellent. Merry Christmas. Next. Oh. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Girl, this ain't no nickel one. <laughs> Uh, but I ought to get something from the kitty bar, probably. You want to go with me? Absolutely. All right. I don't know what you're doing, Rose, but you must be doing something right. I pray I am. Sweet tea, sweetie. Hey, darling. <laughs> My better nine chance. <laughs> Good to see y'all. Darling, who's that? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll be back. Okay. Don't you like Santa? Looks like a whole lot of fun to me. He's pretty fun. I live with him. Is he your dad? No, just a friend. What's your name? Katie. Don't you want to know what my name is? If you'd like to tell me. <laughs> Livy. I'm Livy. Hi, Livy. Hi. That's her mom over there. I think she's having a good time. Yes, she is. <laughs> Oh, I've got to find the ladies room. <laughs> Would you mind watching Katie? You go right ahead, I'll keep an eye out. Okay, thanks. I'm sure as long. You guys, are you from around here? I would love to give you the name of my guy who does my waxing. I can sort of see just a little bit of your mustache, just right, right. Sorry, I'm just looking for the restroom. There's so many people down there. I think those women just gather around that bathroom just again. <laughs> yeah. Come here, darling. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Oh, thank you so much. What can Santa bring you for Christmas this year? You want? 
want something for Christmas this year? Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, Katie. I just wanted to say, I see what you mean about the joy I bring my mom. I also wanted to say thank you. For what? The joy. You brought me joy every year. I wanted to say thank you. You're very welcome, Katie. That's all. I know you want him. And I'm glad you're free. I see. This is for you. Merry Christmas, Katie, Elizabeth, Yates. Merry Christmas, Santa. You're a very special young lady. Thank you. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> it's breathtaking. There's an interesting beauty in a sunset on a lifeless tree. I choose to see renewed strength as the sun rises on a new day. Oh, I like I saw this in a diner. I just love the colors and the beauty and the innocence in that young lady's face. She's not innocent. Collector or painter or just a fan? Just a fan, mostly. Well, what's your favorite? I would have to say that my favorite is Michelangelo's Piazza. Oh, yeah. The sculpture. The one of Mary holding Christ. Mm. Not Joseph of Arimathea. It was the only one he ever signed. Said he always regretted it. Said it showed vanity and pride. Mm. So, is that the reason you never signed yours? They're beautiful. Listen. I think I have a job for you. Call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Great. Thank you. 
so much for the peace and quiet <laughs> earlier. Hey, Robert told me about your art. Now listen, he doesn't take to just anybody. And he's a pretty good judge of a person. I know he gave you his card. He did. He doesn't do that. You should call him. Okay. Thank Santa. You. Yes, sir. We've got some business to take care yes, of. Yes, sir. Rose. Good night, Robert. Thank call you. Call me tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Robert. Good night. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Robert. All right. Ma'am? Oh, thank you. It was really nice seeing you again. Me too. Can I walk you out? Oh, no, I'm gonna wait on Charlie. Okay. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So tell me about Rose. What's her story? Thank you. Rose is a very special person. Well, that's not a face I expected to see in here this morning. Oh, that's good. Oh, I know that's right. Hey, Robert. It's been three days. I know. With Christmas and everything, it's just been crazy. I'm sorry. Well, I think you can help me. I've got someone I'd like you to meet. And if you'll meet me here tomorrow at this address at 5 o'clock, Robert, you are so kind, and I appreciate you loving my artwork, loving it enough to buy it. And I was really excited about getting back into the art world, but... Of what? I'm just a waitress. I'm... Okay, so I'm a waitress that pays. I'm still just a waitress. Look. You're an artist who waits tables, but you're still an artist, and I believe you can help me. Five o'clock? She'll be there. <laughs> She'll be there. Well, See you tomorrow? I guess I'll be there. God is good. What do you think? No bow. Oh, that looks fantastic. All right, now this one is for your mom. I wonder if she'll guess what's in. Oh, hey there. <laughs> hey, you sure you don't mind? Are you kidding me? She is the best Christmas paper wrapping person in the whole planet. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> and I think after this, we might even make some chocolate chip cookies. Dude, your favorite. Okay, <laughs> I won't be gone long. I love you. Big good girl. You guys good. Uh, here, no, thank your mom. I'm right here. <laughs> uh, good. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's oh, do you guys have fun. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Let's go. Let's go. Frosted cold, silver wind, nature wears a Christmas dress. Peaceful woods, a quiet trail, little clouds with every breath. Diamonds on the 
snowy peaks A red bird sings in the evergreen On a winter walk Sinking in his shoe On a winter walk Hey Charlie With a new one getting closer Fa la 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 Fa la 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 Okay. <laughs> I've been telling them about you. Well, that must be a short conversation, seeing as how you don't know anything about me. <laughs> Tread lightly, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it actually was. I told them that you're the best artist I've seen in a while. And I've learned more about art from you in a short while than I've learned from all of those pompous critics over the past 10 years. <laughs> and there's something else. I've learned that your friends think a lot of you. Well? <laughs> Robert says you're very special. Rare in the art world. We've seen your work and it's fantastic. Robert says you're the woman for it. So. The woman for what? Rose. We want you to run our gallery. Run your gallery? <laughs> yeah. Run your art gallery. I'm flattered, but I'm just a country girl from Fayetteville, Tennessee. A waitress. Okay, I'm an artist who waits tables. Yes. But a waitress, y'all. You don't have to know everything. I mean, we already have a team in place. We were just, we just needed to find the face. Some of the people that can, can relate to, somebody that knows and loves art. I think y'all got the wrong girl. I mean, high society, that ain't me. No offense, but the other night at your party, I was so uncomfortable. I'm just trying to be honest. Look. Livy and I hate those parties, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Robert knows I feel this way. If I never see another designer gown stuck with a two-size, two-big cackle in him, <laughs> it'll be just fine with me. Besides, girl, do I sound like high society? Really? Rose, you and little Katie are the sweetest breath of fresh air that's blown through that house in a long time and we want to open an art gallery for everybody. We want to open a place where everybody feels comfortable. We want an art gallery where the beauty of art reflects the heart. That's you, Rose, that's you. It's just a lot. I'd be a fool to say no. And you are quite the salesman. But that diner, those people, those friends that you talk about, this might be hard to understand, but that diner has become like our home. And Jack and Dot treat us like we're their family. To just walk away from that? I can't do that. Maybe I just need to go home tonight and think about it. Rose, you're fired. What? I had to have a backup plan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Katie. Mom, this one has my name on it. The lease is paid up for a year. Whether you take the job or not.
It's been a dream of mine to bring art to people who love it and appreciate it, not just for its culture or its social prestige, but for the heart of it, the sweat, the inspiration, the love that an artist puts into the painting of their homestead, the sketch of a loved one's face, or a sculpture of a mother's tragic loss and a world's hope for eternity. This is a fantastic moment in my life. And now, I would like to introduce to you the new curator of the People's Museum of Art. Ladies and gentlemen, Rose Phelps. Thank you. I'm not sure I belong up here. I am truly honored and truly blessed. Art for me has been a form of survival, of escape. A way to be somewhere else. A way to remember things that I love and miss. A way to smell, touch things that are far away. A way to bring them close again. Each painting has been born of a desire, of a need to remember to live, not just accept. And with art being a gift, I thank God. There are so many people that I owe so much to. Thank you for your love and care. Baby, you ready for bed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rinse out your toothbrush and put it in your cup before you come in, okay? Okay. All right. Get <laughs> in there, you crazy girl. <laughs> Babe? You're gonna have to start folding these clothes up, putting them away, okay? Mom? Mm-hmm? Sing beautiful star. Mm. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining far through shadows dim, giving the light for those who long have gone guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where jesus lay oh beautiful star of bethlehem shine on 
Mm. Mom, mm -hmm. do you miss the diner? Yeah, sure I miss the diner. Me too. But we'll still get to eat there, right? Absolutely. We can always go back there. Yeah. All right, baby. Snuggle up to Drowsy. Get some good sleep. Mm, I love you. Good night, baby. belongs to you. Yeah, how do you know? Well, it doesn't match your shoes for one. What is happening? Did, why do you have my purse? I ain't saying nothing to you or you. Ah, let, let go. See? Now look, he's talking already. <laughs> why don't you give the nice lady back a purse? Thank you. Apologize to the lady. Sorry. That didn't seem very heartfelt. Now let's try it one more time. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Why don't you just tell this nice lady it'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. Now let me go. Now you need to tell her that she needs to go to dinner with me tonight. <coughs> I can do this all day, my friend. You should go to dinner with this nut. Get out of here. Oh, nuts. Thank you. Is that a yes? <laughs> I feel like I've earned it. You do. You got a favorite restaurant? <laughs> you like small burgers? Small burgers, huh? Who the fuck is that about right? Something like that. There is a story told from back in days of old. There was born a baby child So tender, meek and mild They say he came from God above Sent down here to show us how To love our fellow man Merry Christmas, Mom. That was the plan sure That's why they call it Christmas Give his life for you and me He took all the blame For all our sin and shame I'm so glad he set me free And all I had to do is to believe He was the one And so it's done That's why Christmas 
It's all about the love we share Every day should be Christmas Showing someone that we care When those nights get cold I'm just, uh, we got a new artist in from Sweden, actually. Oh. And so I'm cataloging all of her paintings. Is she awesome? Oh, yes, what's the name of this one? This is called A View by the Lake. I love that. Um, speaking of view, the view I saw not too long ago of you walking out the door on your date. Oh, that was not a date, Livy. <laughs> well, <laughs> it sure looked like a date to me. Uh, Oh my goodness, I ain't got no time for heartbreak right now. Girl, you might not wind up with a broken heart. If the past is any indication of how things will end up with me and a man, heartbreak is written all over it, every time. Well, I've been wrong before, but I've been right before too. <laughs> Sometimes you can't run from romance. Oh, uh, so you say, so everybody <laughs> says. So it's just so scary though to say, okay, let's sh shake the dust off. Let's just throw caution to the wind and move forward. Let me just ask you this question. Are you making the same choices that you've made in your past? No, definitely not. Trust yourself. We'll see. Fair enough. <laughs> you know we love you. I love you. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi. Here. Fruit. 
cake, huh? Yeah. Oh, you know nobody eats those, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Oh, Maybe can you go close the door? 